welcome back to my Mexican kitchen here in Switzerland. Uh, today we're in baking mode, or baker's mode actually. Uh, we're missing some typical Mexican breads that you can get in the local bakeries in Mexico and we thought, ah, let's make some at home. It's called uh, piña tacos, taquitos de piña. And piña means pineapple, so the English word would be pineapple tacos. Uh, these are one of the basic staples you can find in the bakeries. There's a lot of different types of fresh uh, sweet breads you can find and this is one of them. And they are really easy to make. The ingredients are practically things that most of us have in our pantry and you don't even need fresh, fresh ingredients. Just a few, but also the basics we have at home. So let's get baking. Uh, the ingredients you need for the filling of your pineapple tacos are three tins of 140 grams each of canned pineapple, three fourths of a cup of sugar, yellow food coloring, one third of a cup of cornstarch, two tablespoons of water. For the dough, you're going to need seven grams of dry yeast, three fourths of a cup of milk, four cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, five tablespoons of sugar, half a cup of butter, five tablespoons of sour cream, and we're going to need one egg for shine. Okay, so let's start with our filling. The filling is basically a pineapple jam. So what we have to do is, the tins of pineapple I bought, it was slices, and it's harder for the pineapple to break down like that, so we cut them up in little cube pieces. The pineapple, the sugar, and the food coloring are gonna go in a saucepan. The food coloring, it's optional. It's basically just to uh, add color to the pineapple. Otherwise, it's a very pale color. And you want your tacos de piña or pineapple tacos to look very attractive visually. But if you don't want to add any food coloring, you don't have to. And this is to your liking. It depends on how bright you want the yellow to look. How much That will be how much paint you add to it, how much food coloring. So it's the pineapple and the sugar and the food coloring in your saucepan. You're going to mix well and you're going to bring it up to a boil. Once it's boiling, you put the, uh, the heat down to medium low and you let it simmer for about 30 minutes or until the pineapple is really tender and cooked. And it breaks down obviously because we're making a jam. <laughs> After those 30 minutes, we're going to um, add our cornstarch. And first we have to mix the two tablespoons of water into the cornstarch and we're gonna mix it. And then we add that to the pineapple jam, which is in here. And basically that, what, what that does is it makes it thicken up. So once it's thick, you can turn your heat off. So the pineapple is doing its magic over here. Let's keep going with our dough. Uh, to start, we need to activate our yeast. So we're going to warm up our milk. It helps the activation be faster. So we, we warm it, we put it in a bowl, and we're gonna add the yeast in there. Uh, you know your, dough, your yeast is activated once it's foamed up. It takes about, about uh, 10 minutes, so let's do that. Okay, so the pineapple is still working there and we're gonna continue working as well with the dough. Uh, first thing is we're going to sift our flour and our baking powder in a bowl. Once it's sifted, we're going to add the remaining in ingredients, which are the yeast, which is already activated, the salt, the sugar, the butter, the sour cream. It's all going to go in the bowl and we're going to mix it for about five minutes. is a bit stringy so it's harder to break it down fully into a creamy mush of jam. It's not like strawberries which just completely dissolve in there. So you're going to have some chunks which is perfectly fine. It's actually quite nice to bite into those pieces when you're eating your bread. 
So we're just going to let that rest and cool down. We don't want it to, um, to we can't use it hot. And another thing is when you add the Mycena and the two tablespoons of water, it might need a couple of tablespoons of water extra depending on how dry your, your jam looks. So if you see it looks a bit too sticky, too dry, you can add a couple of um, tablespoons of water just to make it a bit creamier. And now our dough is also done. So the next thing is we're gonna let it rest for one hour. We're gonna let it rise. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it with a damp towel and we're gonna put it in a nice warm spot in our house. Okay, so our dough is uh, doubled in size. The next uh, part of this recipe is we're gonna punch out the air and then we're gonna flour a surface and we're gonna roll out our dough. What we want to do is we want to cut out squares with the dough that's rolled out. They're about 12 by 12 centimeters or five by five inches. What we're gonna do is once we have our dough cut out in squares is we're gonna put a bit of the pineapple um, jam we made in the center and then we're gonna fold over our dough like this so that we create little tacos or pineapple tacos which is the recipe and that would be the next step. You have to preheat your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius. While that's happening, we're going to give our pineapple tacos an egg wash. I'm going to use the whole egg, uh, the egg white and the egg yolk, like that we don't waste anything. Or you can just make an egg white omelet if you want, but I'm going to be using the whole egg. So with a brush, you just brush on some of the egg onto your, onto your pineapple tacos, tacos de piña, to give them a nice golden color while they're bacon, baking. Sorry. And once you're done, you can pop them in the oven for 20 minutes or until they're nice and golden. So we're done baking our pineapple tacos or tacos de piña. For those of you who don't know how they look, this is what a pineapple taco looks like. <laughs> With the amount of ingredients that I gave you, we made 18 of these. So you have 18 chances to eat really delicious sweetbreads. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you next time. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please watch the other videos. Just click on the links and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.